What is going on, everybody? Yeah, they just Krieg. And I'm here with a unboxing that I haven't got a chance to in a really long time. My buddy. I remember my buddy's name. I didn't forget my buddy's name, don't worry. For half a second. Last Chance Customs. I couldn't remember his company. Uh, Brian freaking Minnick. I haven't had a deal with him in a long time. Finally, we did. I sent him some stuff. He sent me some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, I haven't opened the box. And he, he emailed me, he texted me the other day about it. To be honest with you, I've been staring on this for a long time. Because I was pretty bad in getting his side out. I was having some issues in my basement. I had to be here for plumbers, yada, yada. And I'm still a little COVID-phobic. Uh, so I try, when I got to go to PO and stuff like that, I make sure I do it only at certain hours. So when that confronts, I wasn't able to do it. So we have an unboxing from him. But sort of as an homage bouche to that unboxing, I want to show off two autographs that I had pre-ordered. Honestly, now it's probably at least, I'd say at least four months ago. And they will fit in very nicely in my collection. So these aren't mystery autos by any means. Um, but there's something I put in with CP. Is it always a CPA? I always I want to say CSA or CSR. So many companies with so many letters. So we have two. I hope we have two. Let's be two. Hold on a second. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, they put them in the same. That's uh, that's right. Because I only went on the biggest size than one of them. So they've had signings up for two people who. Quite frankly, I never see them do signings with. Oh, I should say, I don't see them do signings, period. In the first one, I went with an 8x10, okay? Uh, John Jarrett, you know the name. And if you don't know the name, you know the face. We got McTala, which I wish I, th I planned ahead because they did have Brian make me a custom McTala figure. Uh, well, actually, he just sent me a custom McTala figure years back. So I could have shown that off. Unfortunately, I didn't. And the other guy who I am much more excited about, um, and I'm going to get emotional a little bit for a second, but not really. Um, my mother used to love NCIS. I watched it with her all the time before she passed. That was her show. Like Even now when I watch it, I still think, wow, she wouldn't like them doing that to that character. Or, wow, she'd be glad that person's back. But um, Gibbs Boss on MC uh, NCIS, who's, who's deceased now, who... Freaking now, I'm, of course, I'm on camera. The name's going away. Um, he played Franks. Uh, he died on the show. But his boss is also someone I consider pretty significant in the horror world because of the role he played. He is, Franks, is also Ben Willis, the fisherman. From I Know What You Did Last Summer, and I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. And I know there was a third one, like Ghosts and stuff. I don't know if he was in that. I'll be honest. I watched part of it. I'm like, I don't want to know what they're doing that summer. But very cool. Very cool. I will get these framed. I keep saying stuff like that. I have no idea the frames and the photos and the decisions I have to make. Now, here is the box from Brian. And again, I didn't want to open it up because until he got mine. And then once he got mine, well, I was teaching a lot this week. Uh, my schedule starts. I didn't really have time to do it justice. So, since my day is over in essence, aside from for some greeting, I get to open up here. And I'm going to try not to stab myself with the uh, with my knife. But Brian he does some really fun work. Now, I know the themes. It's not a mystery. Um, and as he asked me, you know, hey, I'm, I'm working on this piece. Would you be interested? And then he asked me who else I don't have that I might want. So, the pepper. More paper. Okay, Brian likes to kill trees. Ah, uh, actually, I, you know what? I didn't even know he remembered this. This is awesome. He made me a collector figure. It was it was freaking perfect. The face, the mask. Unfortunately, the the, the card, um, it had it, it eventually peeled it. It had it had issue from the beginning. Um, you know, I think it happened in transit. So he made me a case 
And that's how all those cases are. You can open them, put the figure in, take them out, display them. So I am so glad you remembered that, Brian. Thank you very much. I didn't remind you on it because I didn't want to press my luck with all the other stuff I've done. But that is freaking badass. The Collector is one of my absolute favorite series. Okay. And the Collection, the Collected. So most be out this year. Hopefully it will be. Oh, I love the colors on this back one. Oh, this is great. His cards, I just like how he, I don't know what he does with the lamentation, whatever it is. You know, look at just the card for Taurus Trap. Now, you obviously know if it's Taurus Trap. Yes. Again, like I said, his cards open up like that. Okay, I will show you the thing. Figure. Look at that. Huh? Ain't that nifty? I like that a lot. I do. You can see it's a mask. It's the outfits are well done. I've seen a couple of places lately that have made these as well. Um, like, but they're a lot. They're, they're the bigger ones, and they're really, really expensive. And you gotta again, not everything in your collection. You have to have the giant ones. And to me, that is perfect. That will hang up nicely. He puts a little punch thing in there. I'll stick the little um, thumbtack in, and it'll work out great. Like that a lot. Next, there should be just two more. We'll clean up lots of paper, but yeah, it's worth a buy. Okay. This is the other one I requested. And I'm surprised I didn't have him do it a long time ago. Um, so this one I'll... Get situated before I even show you. You want some fritters? You want some fritters, kids? If you want some fritters, I know whose fritters you should get. You should get yourself some Farmer Vincent's fritters. Look at that. Motel Hell. I've seen him make this one a few times, and I just, I never pulled the trigger on it. One of the good things about my blind Minic Last Chance custom collection, though, Aside from the fact that I probably have more than anyone out there, maybe even Brian, I have a lot of one ones because I know I've given him some strange-ass shit to do over the years. But this one, I think this might be a one of one and it's the first time he had tried, he tried it. And he, it's, he said it's a very delicate piece, so I don't know how often he'll try it again. But from one of my top ten... All time, all time, not by decade, not by John. All time favorite horror movies. You ready for this? Black Christmas. And you get a little taste there with the wheelchair, with the rocking chair, as to what this is. Claire. Let's see. You did say you gotta be careful. So I'm gonna try to be careful. Uh huh. Nice. And nice. Now, yeah, yeah, don't look at it and be like, hey, Craig, why didn't you take the bag off ahead? You know why I didn't take the bag off ahead? Because he left it on there, and that's where he wanted it. Look at that. That is awesome, Brian, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, the problem is, after you do a uh, Brian... Mimic rare chance cuts in the boxing. All you want to do is go, huh, what can I get from him next? So I know Brian's going to comment uh, on this video. He always does. That's actually how I met him. You know, um, he actually sent me, within within knowing him on this channel, just a, a, couple of, a couple of exchanges, he actually sent me some free stuff once, which was awesome. He sent me some pint sized heroes. I sent him some pins. And it's been love ever since. But. If you see him below, hit him up. Tell him how good his work is, and give the man an order. I'm sure he, uh, I'm sure he's excited to do more stuff. But thanks for checking out my video again. Two videos, both under ten minutes. One of them was under five. So, congrats to me. Have a good one, folks. Peace.